This video is for After Effects users and beginners who are interested in doing motion graphics inside of DaVinci Resolve. There's no doubt that DaVinci Resolve is giving just a little bit of competition to Adobe because it's an all-in-one software. You can video edit, you can color grade, you can do audio editing, uh, and apparently motion graphics, and it's all in one software. And it's crazy to think that's also free, and I think it's just a brilliant marketing move on Blackmagic because they want to sell their cameras and give away the software for free, I think really incentivizes people to buy their cameras. So that's pretty cool. Cool. But let's jump in this tutorial, let's see how comparable DaVinci Resolve is to After Effects and let's learn how to use DaVinci Resolve. All right, so perhaps the biggest difference between DaVinci Resolve and After Effects is in After Effects, you obviously have layers just like in most editing software. Uh, but in DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna use something called nodes. And throughout this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can build out your node tree and how to approach this. So keep that in mind as we move forward in this video. All right, to get started creating some motion graphics here in DaVinci Resolve, you wanna make sure you are on the edit tab here. And what we want to do is right click and go to new fusion composition and click create. And then we can drag this into our timeline. Make sure our playhead's on top of it and selected. And we go to the fusion tab here in DaVinci Resolve. And this is where we can put together our motion graphics. So the very first node you'll have here by default is the media out. And we're going to link everything to this so we can actually see an image here. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is probably create a background. So we come here to the background effect here and we'll just go ahead and click that. And there's our background. What we can do is grab this box and this will allow us to drag a line to media out. And we come here to our background color over here and we can just change our color to whatever we like. I'm gonna use a very dark gray. So if our nodes, you can obviously select them and move them around uh, and do what you like with that. Uh, but we wanna go ahead and add some text. So in After Effects, you'll know that you'll animate titles sometimes with the animators here. Uh, and I wanna be able to do that inside of DaVinci Resolve as well, so we can have that custom title animation. So to create a title, what we're gonna do is come here to the title plus icon and we can click this and it'll be here in our node tree. However, we also need to add a merge node because we have to combine our background and title into this sequence here. So what we'll do is we'll grab our line here, we click on it and that will just get rid of it. And what I like to do is take our background, link it to the merge one, and then off the side, I'll link our text one to merge one. And then I'll take this other square and link this to media out. Okay, so what we can do is go to our text one here on the right underneath the inspector. You can type out your text here. So I have my text. And as you can see, this is all gonna be linked up and you should be able to see everything. Uh, from here, you can change all your text settings. Uh, so I'm gonna change my font. And if you wanna do any text alignment, you can come here to the H anchor and that will align that left align and we can move this over. So we have some options here. We can adjust the sizing and a lot of other things very quickly. So I also wanna turn this into a stroke title. So I can come here to shading and you'll see under appearance, we have the stroke icon. And there it is. We can adjust the thickness of this as well. So that is pretty cool. So now I wanna talk about animating this uh, just like you can in After Effects with that text animator properties uh, that I showed earlier. So what we can do here is go back to our text options we can right click in the text box, for example, and we can click on follower. So this is very similar to the text animator properties, but in order to have access to it, we need to go to the modifiers tab. And under modifiers, uh, we have some of those settings here. So we have no animation on it. So let's go ahead and add some animation first. So let's come here to say shading, for example. And the only thing I wanna do is have this title flicker on. So maybe at a second half, I want this to be fully on. So what I'll do is come here to opacity. I'll add a keyframe by clicking this. And we'll come here to the very first frame and we'll set this down to zero. So now we have our title fading on. So we got to go to timing and we can increase the delay here. And what this will do is allow the letters come in a little bit more individually. And that's pretty cool. And we can change the order from automatic to completely random or random, but one by one. Um, so there's several different options you can play with there. Just keep in mind, you can create any custom animation uh, underneath the follower tab with you know, positioning, scaling, uh, and that can affect the letters individually, just like you can with the text animator inside of After Effects. And now focusing more back on the node tree here, what if we wanna add another title in here? Uh, what we can do is go ahead and add another merge node in here and we'll have, we'll break the chain here and we'll have media out go to merge two and we'll connect merge one to merge two. And then we can take our text one, copy it, paste it, and then we can kind of connect those together. And under text one, we can change out our title and change any other settings uh, needed, maybe I'll make this a solid color. 
and I can quickly bring this down. So in After Effects, we have shape layers that allow us to create shapes. So for example, we have this line animated here. I wanna show you how to create that inside of DaVinci. So instead of shape layers, what we do is we just create the shape we want. So if I wanna create a straight line, I'll come here and grab the polygon tool. And here I'll just click a point, hold down shift on my keyboard, and I can draw out a straight line uh, like this. However, we don't see anything. So we need to go ahead and add another merge into here. And you see that's already connected because polygon was selected. We'll break the media out, connect this from merge two, and re-put in the media out to merge three. So now we can't see our line, so what we need to do is make sure the polygon is selected, and we'll come here to the border width, and we can increase this by a little bit. And we should be able to see a line. However, if you don't connect it correctly, you see how this is connected to blue? We need to deselect that and make sure it's connected to green. And now we have our line. And it's a little bit big, so we'll bring that down. Perfect. So now let's talk about animating this. So we'll come here to the first frame, and under length, we'll bring this down to zero. Now, if you just say the position, it'll go from the other side. So you can animate both sides of this line with position and length, but we'll just go ahead and do the length. So, you know, right here at say 30 frames, we'll add a keyframe for length and we'll go to zero frames and bring this down uh, to zero. And you might have a dot here so we can come here and change the end cap to flat. And now we'll have our line. So what about the graph editor inside of After Effects? Can you do the same thing in DaVinci? Yes, you can. So in After Effects, you can adjust all the timing, the speed of the keyframes of the animation. In DaVinci, it works very similar. What we wanna do is make sure that our node is selected that has animation, and we'll come here to spline. And we'll go ahead and just select that value so we know that we adjusted the length, and that is selected. And we can click on this icon right here, which is zoom to fit, and there's our animation. What we can do is select our keyframes, and a quick shortcut would be to hit S or any of these other curves here. So that gives us a nice little Bezier curve. And you can adjust the handles here to customize the timing and the speed of your animation. So we scroll through this, our animation is much different now. So that's how you can do that. So one thing you're probably very familiar with inside of After Effects is motion blur, which you can just easily turn on by checking it on over here and make sure it's turned on at the top. But in DaVinci, uh, for example, we want to add motion blur to our line that we just created. We need to make sure it's selected. We got to go to settings and just check on motion blur. So now we have motion blur applied and this will work with every single node that you're working with. Just go to settings and turn on motion blur. And you can also adjust the motion blur settings, which I think is really cool. So in After Effects, you're able to use shape layers to easily duplicate lines or repeaters and things like that. Uh, well, in DaVinci, it's a little bit similar as well. So what we wanna do is say we wanna adjust our background here and add some lines. Uh, what we'll do is we'll disconnect our background here and we'll go ahead and create another merge node. We'll connect the merge four to merge one and connect the background back to there. And we'll add our background lines right here. So as before, what we'll do is we'll add the polygon. We can zoom out here by holding down control on our keyboard and we can draw out a straight line like this, hold down shift, just like we did before. And we can connect this to our merge four and adjust our border width as well. So we have this line here, but I wanna be able to easily duplicate it. So what we wanna do is hold down shift spacebar on our keyboard and we'll type in duplicate. And here it is. So you, all the tools are here. You have to hit shift space to find all these tools, but we'll go through these in future tutorials with a lot of them. We'll add this and here's duplicate. So what we'll do is we'll just break this chain here and we'll just put these right here in the center. We'll just reconnect all these, boom. So now underneath the duplicate, we can come here to the center Y and we can bring this down and there's our duplicated line. And then we increase the number of copies and we'll have to manually put this in there. So we'll do like 40 or something. And now we have our duplicated lines. Um, I do wanna animate these and I do wanna take these off the text as well. So to animate it, we'll do that real quick since we're here, we'll go to the jitter tab and what we'll do is come here to center X and we can kind of just play with that, add a keyframe for center X and we can move forward here and then just animate the center X to do something else, right? So now we have our line animation here and that's cool. So to take this off of text, we need to create a mask or a mat, right? All right, so what we wanna do is come here to mat control and this will be a way to, for us to take the lines off the title here. We'll go ahead and break that line right there and we'll connect mat control to merge four and the mat control to duplicate. So we have this like so. And now what we're gonna do is grab say the rectangle tool here and this will be our box that we'll use as a mask around our title so you can kind of move it here. And if we connect our rectangle one to this bottom darker gray triangle here, this will create a mask for us. And we can come here to our rectangle one and we can adjust the width of this. Uh, you know, we can even have it go all the way across and we can adjust you know, where this is gonna be at. So 
You notice how you can create masks and many other elements inside of DaVinci. We can also adjust the Y height if it wants to be a little bit bigger. So now we have this really cool animation here inside of DaVinci Resolve uh, and a lot of cool techniques that are relatable to After Effects, but hopefully this makes sense uh, in DaVinci Resolve as well. So overall, this video has really been like a comparison between the two workflows between After Effects and Resolve. Um, and I think for the most part, you can pretty much do all the same stuff in Resolve like you can in After Effects. The only issue that I have from an After Effects standpoint that is kind of challenging to learn Resolve because you gotta go from layers to nodes uh, and all the tools that you would use in After Effects in some shape or form is kind of hidden inside of Resolve. So you kind of have to do a lot of Google and to find the same stuff you would do in After Effects uh, as you would in Resolve. But learning a new software that has a ton of features in it, it's really not supposed to be easy. You know, it's supposed to take a little bit of time to figure out things out. So, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below which software you prefer to use. Do you think Resolve is something that you could use in the future uh, or After Effects is still the king? So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna do more tutorials on Resolve. Uh, and of course, we're still gonna do After Effects stuff. You can hit us up on our Instagram. We got a lot of cool graphic design and motion graphics content on there. That link is below and always be creative.